Welcome all you air signs to your weekly energy update. This of course is for all my Geminis, my Libras, my Aquarians, no matter where it is at in your chart. We're going to be looking at the week of April 10th to April 17th, but if you are coming across this video outside that time frame, I would still honor your intuition and watch the video because if it brought you here, I'm sure there's messages there for you. But if you are watching this during that time frame, then the big energy for this week is actually April 16th, which is the Libra full moon. And it is bringing in some beautiful energies, um, you know, with the all the Venus, because it rules the house of Libra, um, the sign of Libra, apologies. And, uh, you know, with the uh, combination with the sun and some other of uh, the planets there, what we're going to be looking at with this reading is what can be balanced in our relationships this week. And what would spirit, what would the creator like us to know about a significant relationship in our life or significant relationships? So we're going to start off pulling a card here from the Ask Your Guides Oracle. And this is just going to be for all air signs. And then we'll pull some cards at the end of the video for each of your individual signs as well. So for all air signs, what would you like them to know about those relationships this week, please? All right. Nope, they said not those. Looking for one card. Okay, <laughs> there it is. All right. So we have leadership and Holy Spirit. So I love that. This very much has like the hermit feel to it where um, it's like you're using your beautiful inner journey that you've had um, where that little star, which in the uh, Major Arcana, the star is the Aquarian, which is very much, of course, the air element. Uh, this is you finding your inner wisdom and using it to help guide others to, to this other level as you connect with that higher spirit connection that you have. And that is card number 51. So let's take a look here and see what other messages come with this one for you. The energy around that is charisma, enterprise, authority, motivation. So the Holy Spirit is encouraging you to consciously and fully embrace the leadership role you're carving out for yourself. Through your focus, your dedication, stability, and discipline, you're emerging from the background and becoming recognized for both your competence and your wisdom. Others are naturally attracted to your charisma, your charismatic vibration, and will follow your lead as they rightfully sense that you can be trusted. The Holy Spirit is guiding, I'm sorry, is your guiding force as you motivate and inspire others. Indeed, the very word inspire comes from the word spirit and means to invite or to inhale the Holy Spirit into your life and move toward your creative and spiritual best. The Holy Spirit affirms that your assignment for now is to shine your bright light on the world and make no apologies for your enthusiasm or confidence as you lead others to higher ground. Be mindful, however, not to overdrive yourself and become disconnected from your source or you risk getting burnt out. Enthusiasm is like fire and must be contained or it can consume you. And the Holy Spirit's message for you is lead with confidence. Yeah, so your relationship, this, uh, you know, kind of message for this week is to lead by example, to shine bright, show others that they can shine bright, but you show them this and you lead in this way by not being like, this is what you should do and need to do and have to do and blah, blah, blah. You do it, you live it, and other people are inspired from that. And you can tell when you start to try to lead of your own accord and try to tell people how they should be doing things and all that instead of leading by you know your example. That's when the light starts to dim because uh, it's kind of like you're under a fountain 
and you know when you're under the fountain all that is coming directly down and filling you up but when you get off kilter some water starts to pl splash and you're not as filled and you start to empty out right and so that's kind of this message that's coming in there we're of course going to dig in deeper and we're going to use the synchronicity oracle and just see what else the creator would like you to know about this leading this week leading in your relationships and i kind of feel like if it's like the romantic kind or even friendships and different things but if it's love that you're looking for it's like give the love that you want to receive first don't expect others to give you what you're looking for first give what you're uh, wanting in life and then that comes back to you so what else would you like our air signs to know okay they do want this one right here what else okay and that one usually it can take two possibly three to get a synchronicity that pops up on here because you, as you can see when you look at these you whatever jumps out to you will help um, it's like a, a message for you for this week. So whatever jumps out to you, just know that has significance for you. And we'll look here too. <laughs> yeah. And sorry if you are afraid of clowns because the clowns is the one that um, showed itself on here, which makes sense because you know, all of you air signs, even though, uh, and I can say this because I'm, I, I have an air sign for my sun sign. I, I know that we have a great dry sense of humor and we can laugh at things because with air signs, with, um, with it driving us, with our, our mind so much, the emotions we can have this kind of wit about us that we can laugh at things and look at things humorously because we're not so emotionally motivated by them right we're not so drawn into these extreme emotional um, areas of our life depending on our you know our you know moon sign and our you know rising sign and different things too but i really feel like this is the week where laughter and joy is so much of it don't be so serious about things the more you laugh and the more you love that is what draws people to you uh, that joy that you exude <laughs> so that's funny we're also going to pull from here from the sun and moon tarot to see what else the crater wants all of you air signs to know and for all these relationship with this leadership leading in relationships what else would you like them to know okay so these four yep they said just those four so we will have these here and we'll start with this one and you get the three of pentacles and this is a great card too because this is look at here's the works this is a, a wonderful card because pentacles is about the outside world and kind of how you look for your worth um, based on what goes on in your earthly experience in the physical world and you know they have someone that's creating a work of art here and usually you'll see two other people in the card as well and what that represents you have uh, usually it's someone standing like in back of them and um, in some of the card decks that i have and the message that spirit gives me with that is that there's people that are behind you that are jealous and fearing what your success might mean that you might leave them and in fact you know it's like here's three people right and that's usually what shows up on that card and there's this kind of tint to those individuals that they're the dream slayers the bubble bursters the you know the ones that are not supportive that are like i can't believe you're gonna do that and you're not gonna like get, be able to go anywhere in that you're not gonna be able to make money that way you're just not gonna be successful at that why not do it this way and we know that and we're like okay pfft, 
you, you get ousted outside of the circle because we don't want to hear that all the time and so we will usually spend less time with those individuals well the other person that stands in front is the supporter the person that's saying they're so proud of you and you're going to do so well and our ego of course loves that it wants more praise and support than the fear of rejection and that little you know negativity that the other person was exuding but that person the person that's positive and supporting us can be more dangerous for us in moving off of our authentic path because if we're wanting to go this direction and they're saying all that stuff and then they add you know you're we're proud of what you're doing but have you ever thought of doing it this way we might be swayed to take on their opinion more strongly because we fear losing that and so this card is this kind of message of be your authentic self live your authentic life don't worry about other people's opinions or meeting up to those and by that that's how you lead is be being your authentic self take off your mess don't be the clown you know with all that paint and everything be humorous without all the get up <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and you have the six of pentacles, which you had this five and one is six here. And this is very much this giving and receiving card. So you have the three of pentacles here. And now you have the six of pentacles. And the six of pentacles does have this message kind of, I call it the codependency awareness card. And that works very well with this three of pentacles because the six of pentacles basically tells us that when you're an enabler and i'm a recovering enabler in codependent relationships that you have this belief when you're younger that's given to you that you are only worth something when you're able to give something to someone else and if you're not unable to give something to someone why on earth would anyone want to be around you and so you have this giving over giving mentality that comes in and so you go into this relationship of two adults and you allow them to give to you in the beginning but it quickly changes from adult to adult to whoosh, mama bird daddy bird to baby bird and we will give 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 and they try to give more like no 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 only mama bird daddy bird give to baby bird and so we give and we give and we give until we're exhausted and then we give and give and give until we're resentful and that's how we end up in that relationship which generally ends up not being uh, long term ish or it's very uh, anxiety filled and uh, dysfunctional right um, it's prove it's uh, functioning perfectly for what we are wanting to learn through that experience but little baby bird because they want to give too if we won't allow them to give to us they will give outside of the friendship the relationship whatever it might be so if it's like romantic they might have an affair and because someone will allow them to give to them or they'll pour themselves into their work become workaholics or they'll go to the gym and invest in their bodies or a hobby so all that giving they give it somewhere outside and basically the the lesson the you know purpose of us wanting to experience that is we find within ourselves with our authentic selves right that we are the ones that are worthy we find this core within us instead of outside of us right that we deserve to be loved we give ourselves love instead of giving away our life essence and becoming exhausted we become a chalice we become a holy grail allow the love from above from the creator the unconditional love to fill us up fill us all the way up and then overflow instead of giving away our essence and feeling empty everyone else gets the overflow and so there it becomes this by becoming this chalice and being filled up and receiving we're able to give and what we give is so much more delicious than anything that we had given before because the other stuff we gave full of expectation where we were exhausted that was bitter sour water but when we fill up with that beautiful manna and living waters of the creator of all things when we fill up with that and people get the overflow even a drop of overflow that delicious uh you know uh 
nectar of the heavens tastes so much better than that bitter water we were given them before. So I love this. You know, again, this is how you lead by allowing yourself to fill up and people get the overflow and that you teach others that they can love themselves first and then, uh, you know, allow the overflow to go to others. And then you have the Three of Cups. And this is a beautiful card. Here's the mighty full moon, uh, you know, that we have coming up there in Libra. And so um, I love this is definitely joy and overflowing. This is what you get to experience. It's abundant feeling. It's a wholeness feeling instead. Three of Cups also has a wonderful side message um, because it represents for me our support team on the other side, all those beings of unconditional love and light on the other side, and that we aren't alone. They are there for us. They're, they have our, um, our back, you know, in the Holy Spirit. Like we said, when we allow the Holy Spirit and the spirit realm to have a place in our life, it is a very joyful, overflowing, you know, thing instead of that empty, codependent feeling where we feel like we're exhausted all the time, right? Yep. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So this is beautiful. You have all these pentacles, which is the earth energy. It's very grounding for you this week because one of the big things that the King of Pentacles experiences being at the end of, this, of the pentacle suit, he's gone through all the experiences from the Ace of Pentacles all the way up through the royalty. He's the final card in the suit. And the big, you know, it's very fitting for the messages here because the big wisdom that he gleans is that he did try to fulfill himself in the outside world through relationships, through situations and circumstances like jobs and education and social status and things like that. He also tried to fulfill himself by possessions, you know, uh, what he owned, his bank account, his own body. And he found that he was disappointed. And whenever he defined himself by that outside world, he always came up feeling empty and disappointed and feeling unstable because relationships in the outside world, people change or people pass away. Situations never stay the same and things break down, deteriorate or are stolen. And so he realized that he was disappointed enough that he was turned inward to find that wholeness and that completeness within him. And so this very much is this abundance card, this wholeness card that all, because of all the experiences that he went through. So this is very much this very reflective week on your wholeness and completeness. And because of the work that you've done, this inner work and this inner awareness, that's why you're able to lead so clearly because you have found that wholeness within you. So I love it. And then we're going to pull a card here from these uh, Celebration of Love deck. We're going to pull a card for each of you air signs for you. So one for Gemini, one for Libra, one for Aquarius. To see what else they would like you to know specifically. So first of all, for our Geminis. Okay. And for our Libras. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And then for our Aquarians. Okay, there we go. So starting off for our Geminis, you've got unconditional love, little angels. So that is perfect. You can have a little kitty cat. <laughs> so that is perfect for what we were just talking about, right? That filling up of that cup, connecting to that unconditional love. And we'll read from the book here too. So this image celebrates the innocence of children and animals. It calls us to get to know, understand, and embrace the aspect of ourselves, which we will call the inner child. Open the appreciation of children and animals. Focus on and feel their joy, right, of being in the moment. Take a situation in your life and approach it through the eyes of a child, your inner child. Because the special message for this card 
is you are being inspired to open a wonderful, sharing, and delightful relationship with that little being down deep inside you, your inner child. Create a space in your heart to express yourself from that innocent aspect of yourself. Yeah, definitely. And I know some people freak out about clowns, but you know, the essence is that they bring humor and fun and joy. And I really feel like that's why that clown showed up so much is because this is about expressing that joy, expressing the laughter. You know, when you hear a little child laugh from their belly, they, they are very truthful, right? They usually don't laugh because someone told them to. They laugh because they think something's hysterical and funny and you can just hear that and it's um you know very uh um you know it spreads you know a little child laughs and other people just want to laugh with it. it's contagious is the word i was looking for so look in that connect to that that inner child and that inner joy that inner laughter and they generally don't hold a grudge. The children are taught to hold a grudge, but generally they're, they go with that flow of their emotion and they can move into joy very quickly and be laughing a second later after crying, right? All right, and then for our Libras, <laughs> you have cheerfulness. So that's very cool. Midnight Roundup. So definitely another full moon there. <laughs> so cheerfulness seems to be joy and cheerfulness coming in here and cheerfulness says this image celebrates camaraderie friendship and dreaming our dreams together it is sharing the magic of possibilities are everywhere all around us be an inspiration to someone who needs encouragement right this leading maybe they have a goal or a dilemma inspire them to look for possibilities outside the box honor your own imagination so you can extend this gift to them yeah that comes in with this authenticity right be you be the authentic you let your imagination fill you up and by showing this imagination you help inspire them as well the special message for this is you are being inspired to release and forgive an issue an irritation or a problem you've had with a good friend or an associate so yeah it's time to let that seriousness go and i kind of feel like laugh it off you know it's like you know what what does it even matter in the big scheme of things when you're on your deathbed ready to transition and withdraw from your human body what are you going to care are you going to care that you maintain that, you know, rah, 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 grr, or that you laughed more and you had more cheerfulness in your life, right? I love it. And then for all you Aquarians, you've got insight. Dance of the Crystalline Rainbow Fairies. That seems very joyful as well. But let's take a look here and see what message comes from that. And this image celebrates the exploration of the deepest core of our being. We are called to embrace all the aspects of ourselves we discover and lovingly bring them to this present moment to heal, appreciate, and share. Search deeply and find something hurtful in your past that you're hanging on to and can't seem to forget. Make a commitment to forgive and release it. Hourly, for the next few hours, hold the incident or person in a beautiful pink ball of light. Choose to forgive. Choose to release it. Choose to love and be free of it. Feel that wonderful emotion. Keep doing this till you break through. And the special message for this card it says there is someone or something that you may be very critical of you're being inspired to try to understand it and make peace with it you use a lot of your life force maintaining a level of arrogance about it whoa free yourself from it yeah 
So yeah, this again, there's this kind of this message that's throughout this whole thing, but definitely within these last two about there's something that we are so serious about that it's time to lighten up and laugh about it. Choose a different emotion because you do have the power to choose what story you put to any situation and what emotion you want to feel in any situation. So this insight, you can change how you view it. Dance of the Crystalline Rainbow Fairies. It's time to put a different spin on it and laugh, laugh, laugh. Be the clowns. That's what this week is like. Seek laughter instead of seriousness. I really feel that's a big message for all the air signs for this week, which I can definitely uh, taking that to heart myself. <laughs> So I love this for you. And if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos. So if you don't want to miss out for any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up, click this like button. Also click the subscribe button that gives you access to this notification bell. When you go in there, if you select the all option, you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things help spread the love and also helps grow my channel. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, like uh, liking the video, sharing the video, commenting on the video, or uh, subscribing to the channel, um, it, doing any of those things just makes the YouTube algorithm so excited it wants to share the videos of that channel with other people as well. So if you do feel inspired to do any of those things, I am grateful. Also, these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is in the description box below. All right, all you air signs, as you go throughout this wonderful week, and every second of every day of your life, please know that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And until then, you hang in there and you take care.